we're on our way to do a site analysis or site assessment. And one thing that you're supposed to do kind of in the area is start paying attention to the vegetation to make sure that the Beck unit that the map says you're in is actually the Beck unit that you're in. So for reference, uh, we're not near the boundaries of the Beck units, but based on the maps, the Beck unit that we're supposed to be in is the CWH XM, the very dry maritime subzone of the coastal western hemlock zone. So as we walk toward the site where we're going to do our site analysis, let's just identify the plants so you can uh, um, have some idea and compare to the vegetation tables of the different subzones to see if it makes sense. So just right in, and maybe now face kind of toward my left hand, I'm going to use my left hand to point out things. And I'm going to let you come up with the names of these plants because at this point hopefully you know what these are. So what is this shrub? Here's some of the fruit. Okay, so that's one. Here's a fern that hopefully you're pretty familiar with. And here's another plant growing along the ground that you should know. Here's another fern. I'm holding it with my left hand. Here's another blade from the same species of fern. Here's a shrub. This one has a little bit of fruit on it, so that should make it a little bit easier for you. I'll point this one out. You might not... I, haven't, I don't think I've shown you this one in any of the other videos. This one's pretty eaten by insects, but this is Cascara. Ramnus persiana, I believe. So that's a small tree that we see sometimes. We've got western red cedar saplings growing here. Oh, here's a nice example of this plant that often grows along the ground. And I'll point out, a, I'll point out more than one example of some of these plants in part because I won't be able to remember everything that I've already showed you, but write down these species as we come across them. Here's a nice example of this shrub, a nice big one. Here's, this is a tree. This is a sapling of a tree that you should know. And here's another shrub that you should know. Compound leaves, opposite branching. I'm going to keep walking and I'll review a few plants with you and I'll point out anything new that I see. Here, take a look at this fern. It's a different one than the ones I've already showed you. Students sometimes get confused on this one. It's a, it's a hard one to photograph. It's a bit easier one to identify when you can see it in person. Here's another specimen of that same species of fern. I think you've already you've, you've seen this fern already, but I'll show you another one or another example of it. Here's a nice patch of a plant that I've already shown you a few times. Here's an exotic plant. This is English holly. Not going to be on your list because it's here by human interference, not because of the site conditions, but I'll point that out anyway, just so you can get used to spotting that one. Uh, here's one, and I'm not so sure on the species of this one. I'll tell you the genus is Rosa. There's a couple of different rose species, and I have a little bit of trouble with these, so I won't hold you responsible to, for that one. Here's a shrub. Take a look at those leaves. And take a look at the shape of that shrub. This is a pretty classic shape.
Another very large fern here. You've seen this species already in this video. This small tree here is another cascara. Again, something's, some insect is really eating these leaves, or was eating these leaves. I'm not sure what it is. Here's another tree sapling. That foliage should tell you what species it is. A nice patch of these shrubs. There's a berry on there. The season is done, but on a few of these berries didn't come all the way ripe and are just kind of drying on the plant. So that gives you a nice hint on this one. Let's see, I'm seeing Mostly the same things. Here's another, another specimen of a plant I showed you just a little bit earlier, but I'll show it to you again. Let's see if I can get the, actually, I'll just, I'm just gonna hold you up above the leaves there. Hopefully it's not making you motion sick since it's moving around. Okay. I know there's at least one more plant species that I've seen around here that I haven't come across yet in this video, so I'm going to walk with you for another minute, see if I can find one of those. Otherwise, I think I'm mostly seeing species that I've already pointed out to you. Here we go. This plant here, I don't think I've pointed that one out to you yet. A, a shrub. This one has a few, a tiny bit of its fruit left on it. Okay. And over here is where we're gonna do our site assessment. park you so I can talk for just a second. So as I said, based on the maps, we're supposed to be in the CWH XM zone. There's another zone that's similar to XM that you might be able to make an argument for. The, the, uh, if you look at the vegetation summary table, things aren't that different between the plants. And so take a look at the vegetation summary table for the coastal western hemlock zone that shows the different subzones and see if there's another subzone on there that you think we might possibly be in. We'll, we'll stick with XM for now, but I want you to look at that so you can see because we're definitely, you could make an argument for another subzone based on the plants that we've seen.